Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Enlightenment Part 2. I hope you're all doing really well. Jasper, we've got some new subscribers, you need to come and meet them. Jeppy, come here Bubba. This is Jasper. This is Jasper, hey? Some would argue he's the star of the show. I know, I know, we're gonna watch more Doctor Who. Aren't you bubs? Hmm? You gonna get down then? Oof. Anyway, um, yeah, I just fancied filming with Jasper today, so he may make an appearance in the background. On the sofa. Ooh, we don't deserve dogs and you are definitely crooked. Yeah, so excuse the angle. You're actually balanced on a cushion. I'm not very good at changing the angle. Like upstairs, I have like the set angle. This just feels weird, but we're gonna roll with it. So I'm very excited. Um, this season so far has just been, has just been wonderful. Like I don't really have any other words for it. It's just been, it's just been lovely. So let's crack on. Also the laptop is quite low. So I might look like I'm sleeping when I'm looking at it, but I'm not sleeping. I'd never sleep with Doctor Who, obviously, because that's a crime. Anyway. What are they trying to achieve? The crew are really huh? What about the officers? Androids? No, no, it's much more complicated than that. Tegan? You're terrible. I think I'm seasick. Meg, And what was this? Well, the, the guy the screamed oh, earlier. And. Oh, nonsense, Tegan. The ship's hardly moving. But you, baby. They were well, like, oh, he's, he's, he's gone overboard, but he's he can't have gone overboard. See, it's a solar system containing Earth. Well, that explains where they got their crew from. Hmm. Well, please now find where Baroness Faith is leaving her. And you? I want to see what else I can find out here. There's no need to whisper, Doctor. You and your companions are free to come and go as you wish. You are our guests. Where does this lead? Busy at the yeah, why can't he go on the deck? Isn't that? That looks like her old uniform. We should be rounding the next marker, boys. Why is there women's clothes? Who's that woman? I thought that was her uniform. This is so weird. As a I love it. And the crews for the ships you picked them from their different time zones just as a diversion too. They are ephemeral. Ephemerals. Beings like yourself. You have no right to do it. They're real. Living, breathing, flesh and blood. Are there laws in such a small domain? And where do you function? Eternity. Marker boy, sir, coming off of the starboard bow. The endless waste of eternity. That still doesn't explain how they got, like, Tegan's stuff. Yeah, 
doing that trick. No, please, it's got to be. I mean, they've had me have it up there. I thought I was sailing in space, going around the stars. Mm. I didn't touch the drop. I think they must be putting it in the drinking water and all. Now, look, I've got this key. To what? It's the key to the rum locker. I've got to go, but you've got to stand by me, lad, like I've stood by you. We've got to chuck the grog over the side. The boys are never going off without it. Do you think that's wise? We're coming in too fast. Hand the topsail. Hand the topsail. Come about your crash. Turn it out. I'm not going to Get those men aloft. Hand the topsail. Stand by to lower the chip. Get those men aloft. No, man. Oh, I don't want to. 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 Spatial, inner jib and mainsail. If we strip her anymore, she won't steer. Keep through and lose our chance of being first round. Never. Get back to the wheel, helmsman. I am, sir. A close shave, Captain Clem. Now I catch us now. First you have to figure out the traditional protocol plans. Why did we crash? Well, we had a lot of luck. Luck? We could have been killed. But worth risking to win. We are determined to be first. And winner takes all. Let us see who's next around the market. That has to be the winner of this race. No! Ooh. Gravitational pull, you said. Cut it a bit too far. Bad luck, then. Is that all you could say? The ship and its crew has just been destroyed. They're not interested. You saw the way the ship was maneuvered around Venus. These vessels are built to withstand enormous stress. Sabotage. Or it was shot down. It seems this race is getting serious. Someone is prepared to kill in order to win. What? What's the prize? Well, that we must find out. I think it's time for the conference. Yeah. Not here today. No, 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 no. Human minds. Human? Ephemeral, then. From any planet, any galaxy, any time. The minds of living beings. You depend on them. They are intelligent. You presume to think we depend upon the ephemeral mind with all our power, our technology. And I wonder where you got it from. All your technology. Mind you, if you can pick Earth beings from 19th century England, from the Athens of Pericles, from the Qin Dynasty, I suppose you can just as easily pick the minds of more advanced beings from other galaxies. Correct. There you go. Yes, so... No. Just think for a moment. If you think that way, just for a second. Interesting. So it takes them time. They don't instantly mind read. to call them. And on this ship at least they are treated well. Well? I happen to think that human lives are just as valuable as yours. I happen to be a human being. But you're different. You're not like any ephemeral I've ever met before. I have watched the progress. You'll have many opportunities to destroy the Doctor. I can't kill him! Give you to everlasting life. You will never leave this. So <laughs> just killed him. Go away. This. Screw. Yes. Well, they can make anything they see in your mind. That's how this ship was made, out of the minds of the crew. Just as this room was. What's the state my mind's in? Oh, no, no, they exist outside of time. I can tell. You sure? Where's Mars? Are you all right? I think so. Come along. Oh, we're taking Tegan back to Patalis. They're so weird because they are almost like android like. Oh no, they will have recreated one. Where is it? Well, it was here. It can't have just disappeared. They found out about the times. You're right. Take the woman to Mr. Marathon. No! I'll give you something. Turn up. You have the key to the rum locker and Fitz Jackson is safe. Sorry about that as well. 
I wonder if he'll say something about the Black Guardian then. If Turlo thinks about it. Where's the crew? On deck, you will have an interesting view about competitors. They help you to decide which one is the saboteur. What are you competing for? I mean, the whole point of a race is to win something. What's the prize? Enlightenment. Enlightenment. The wisdom which knows all things and which will enable me to achieve what I desire most. Until he flings you overboard. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I am super into this story. I don't know whether it's um, this whole idea of being like on an Edwardian ship. I'm sure that's what they said we're on. It's like an Edwardian mystery, which is weird because I'm, one of the books I'm currently reading is an Edwardian mystery. So I think maybe I'm just a little bit like into my that whole like era of history. I love the whole idea that we've got ships sailing flying through space um like the, the fact that they can read their minds that they can make stuff out of their minds um i just i like the whole mystery of this they're called eternals the prize they win is enlightenment but he wouldn't say what so i don't know whether it will have a link to fall to doomsday um i just really I just really like it I don't know I don't know if this will be a popular one um, and I don't know if this is one of those stories that in part three it will go like it will not be as great but I I super super chuffed with the, with this story like I don't I feel like season 20 as a whole I just don't really have much criticism um because it's just been lovely to watch um again maybe that's down to me enjoying the fifth doctor so much i do miss nissa though and i do really want the whole thing with the black guardian and turlo to come out um but i don't know if it will because i think the doctor might assume that where he just said then oh i don't want to say i won't serve you anymore he's probably thinking that he, that turlo's talking about him um so yeah that would be really interesting so yeah, very, very happy with it so far. Um, thank you so much for joining me. You're going to come say goodbye. Come on then. You say bye. You're too big to sit on laps now, darling. I know, I love you so much. Um, <laughs> You're not the puppy anymore. You want my hair. Oh. Um, and I will see you very soon for part three.